Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before you get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe and the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Tyler Toffoli is signed with the Montreal Canadiens. And I really like the signing for the Montreal Canadiens. It adds another uh, forward piece that, that was needed. And um, you knew Mark Bergevin was going to add another forward to this group. I know they were kind of out of the whole um, Taylor Hall sweepstakes. And I'll get to that in a little bit. But... Today, they, they announced they signed Tyler Toffoli to a four-year deal worth $17 million, and that's an AAV of 4.25, which isn't that bad. Um, in 2015-2016 was his best year. He put up 58 points in 82 games, but since then, he's kind of been up and down on a year-by-year -year basis. This past year, he put up 44 points. The year before, he put up 34. The year before that, he put up 47 points, and the year before that, he put up 34. So I like what he adds. Um, watched him a little bit playing in LA, but when I, when he came to Vancouver, I watched him a bit more. I liked the way he played. Um, I liked the way he, um, was a complimentary scoring piece to the young stars in Vancouver. Kind of played a different game than he did with LA. And I liked the, the style of gameplay that he did with, with, um, with the Canucks. And, um, they wanted to retain him. They couldn't afford him. So that's why he hit the free agent market. And, um, you know, I was hoping the Devils would take a look at him, but him going to Montreal is a perfect fit. I, I really do think so. Kind of fits exactly into where their cap situation is. Fits along the lines of their line structures. And um, I like the way he um, he adds to this team. You know, um, after signing Anderson to that, to that contract, I know a lot of people, um, you know, <laughs> didn't like that contract too much with, with um, Josh Anderson. But um, it's a seven-year deal worth $38.5 million. That's an AAV of $5.5 million. That was up from his previous contract, which is $1.85 million. But I like the way Anderson adds to this team. You know, he's one of those players that were, were really needed for this team. Adds some scoring potential if he's healthy. You can see that in not this past year, but the year before. He put up 27 goals, just a shade under 30. So if he is healthy, he can add a lot to this team. And um, I know Berge Van Borderman for his physical play, his toughness, the way he sticks up for his teammates, the way he could score potentially 30 goals. So, um... If all these players are healthy, I like what Bergevin added. I really do. I think they add a lot to this team. They make their lineup uh, a bit deeper. And looking at their lineup, they have, um, and this is in no order. On the right side, you have Gallagher, Anderson, Armia, and Byron. Um, down the middle, you have Suzuki, Dano, Kapkanyemi, and Evans. And on the left side, you have Toffoli, Tatar, Druin, and Lekkonen. So I know Toffoli can play both sides, the left side and the right side. But Montreal's right side is pretty strong with those players I mentioned. So I could see him playing on the left side for now. But um, I like the way their lines look. I like the way they made the trade for Allen, really uh, solidifying their net minding, giving a good 1A, 1B option, giving Price some nights off, having a competent um, 1B option to win some games. I like the trade they made for Edmondson, bringing him in and signing him. I like what they've done with this team. You know, so um, I think Bergevin is pretty much done um, with the recent signing. Uh, they're at 81.9 million, which is a shade over the 81.5 they have to be. So you can see them making a couple of small moves to get under that cap. But I know they have time. They have the a certain uh, time period that they can be 10% over. So um, we'll see what happens with that, what Bergevin does. Does he make a one-for-one -one trade? Does he do anything else? Or does he just stand pat? Because on paper, this team looks pretty good. Um, and the thing I was talking about with Pierre Lebrun, he wanted to clarify to the Montreal fans that um, uh, the Habs never made a contract offer to Taylor Hall. I know there was a lot of rumors going around about this. You know, I got duped into it, too, because I really thought he was going to go to Montreal. Um, you heard loom a lot of rumors with Krug, with Line A, and Hall. I've done a video on that. I'll, I'll link it at the end. Um, there was just a lot of rumors with a lot of teams. And, um, you know, with this whole flat cap thing, had a lot of the rumor mill going crazy with each and every team. So um, you can see none a lot of those moves weren't done, but a lot of the signings were done. So um, it's been a crazy offseason. And uh, we'll see what happens with the rest of it. But I really like what Bergevin's added to this team. Added a goaltender that they needed. Added a, a good defenseman to help solidify their lineup. And um, added two forwards while getting rid of Domi. So, um, you know, on paper they look good. Hopefully it can translate to uh, their on-ice play for the following year. Have a competitive uh, Habs team. So we'll see what happens with this. Comment below what you think about this. Do you like the Toffoli signing? Do you like all the other moves that Bergevin has made? Comment below, let me know. And as always, thank you all for your time. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button and subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Have a great day tomorrow. Take it easy.